welcome back um so this is uh this is part two um where we left off was essentially here you know pretty basic we've got the way of testing as a string showing on on the site in a in a sort of global area of the site but the important thing is we learn how to uh, work with the view um and layout files and and, and also where to um, look to find the right references for containers for you know in this instance the default XML but the same applies right through Magento too and that's really important that we sort of like touch on that in terms of getting content shown on the or showing on the uh, front end so as I mentioned in the intro what we'll, what I'm going to look at in this um, tutorial is getting the um, is using a setup upgrade, an upgrade data script, um, and it's uh, it, as I say, it's a bit, it's a really good uh, tool to have in your arsenal as a as a module developer, as a Magento developer, being able to sort of insert data into uh, the database and into the CMS without actually having to to do it manually or calling upon anyone else to do it manually. So okay, so they have a very straightforward you need a very straightforward um folder structure for upgrade scripts um set up folder and upgrade data.php and the plugin that i'm using on vs code will put a lot of boilerplate code in there but we'll just um clear that out um you know, I have full disclosure again. I've done this before, um, so I'm going to copy and paste some information from another uh, module that I've that I've used it in, um, just to sort of speed this process up. But as always, just pause the video to have a look at any detail that I sort of skip over. Um, also, I'll, as I say, I'll try and put all this in a package for and include it in the visit uh, video description for you to be able to download. Um, so, essentially, we are using the following. Upgrade data interface, module context interface, and module data setup interface is what we require. Um, also, the class obviously created it for me before, but we're implementing the upgrade data interface. Um, and the first thing we need to create is a block factory class. Um, and the constructor for the dependency injection comes next which is block factory and it lives there and CMS model and then also this is where the actual interface comes into play For setup and also for context. Um, every time you run in one of these or write them one of these scripts, you need to start it with setup, start setup even, and end it with end setup. That opens and closes the connection with the the database. And then it's also a good idea to use versions, versioning, because you might have a few different ones running um, throughout the course of your. Uh, Heavy development. I'll just up that a, a number. Um, so obviously this looks at the version in, um, or the it looks for the version that it finds in module XML. So we'll just up that as well um, to one point three. So it's looking for a, a, it to run if the version is one point three. Now uh, we'll just call this test block. Open an array. We'll come back to that, but just so we don't forget the save method. Okay, so this is the sort of real sort of basic structure, really. Um, and you, essentially, you can fill this in with anything. You can run a number of them if you want. You can, um, you know, you can run a number of of blocks within 
within this uh, a number of block you can add a number of blocks if you want to we're just going to add the one today um, and by default you're looking really at adding a title uh, the identifier or the slug as some people call it um, obviously the content um, and what stores it's displayable you know it's um, it's it's active in really and, and that, that means all stores um, obviously you can put the ID of the of the store in there and whether it starts as being active and a global footer block footer block and we'll put some content in it saying um, fairly straightforward right so what we want to do is we want to use this block um, actually I'll make that just a little bit just in case I've used it before or um, Magento uses it for some mad reason that I don't know about um, we want to use this so to get it to output straight away to our um, theme or our website front end um, Let's utilize this here. Okay, so this is going to basically, as I mentioned in the last tutorial, if you was with us, um, this is going to run um, and display. This is this is only going to display um, the CMS block on the home page, um, and that's the name of the block that we're going to add to the database so I should make sure that's right yeah yeah I just copied it wrong um, and as we run setup upgrade on this and then once it rebuilds so first thing we'll do once it runs is we'll check which it's run we'll just check the back end so all static blocks are in content and blocks There she is, block number 21, our global footer block. There goes nothing. Burp. It didn't let it, sorry it didn't like us outputting it as a string um, because obviously it's got I put variables in there um, doesn't matter so it's bit, it, we clearly added it it's clearly added the, the information which is fantastic so to display it um, the simplest way is to um, to a variable um, I think what it wanted us to use was yeah block Okay, so it is the cache. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's in a nutshell how to dis how to use an upgrade script to add your own static block on the fly and also display it uh, on the front end and. As I was saying, just on the home page.
Yes. Wait for it to burst. Wait for it to burst. Oh, don't like this. But look out! <laughs> I do like this. to resolve it computer only output if it exists and there we go brilliant all working lovely well I hope that's um, I hope that helps someone out it, as I say handy little trick to have in your arsenal is um being able to automate scripts like that um, and also that's how you would sort of like use them in context so hopefully yeah hopefully that was helpful stick around for part three when we'll make it a little bit more we'll flesh it out a little bit more front end wise cheers